Hey guys, what's going on? Tubo Cruz here, checking in in Nagoya, Japan. And today we're gonna to be doing a follow-up review on my Tannis Airless Solid Tires. So let's take a quick look at my bike. A lot of you guys know this is Suikachan, my dedicated cyclocross commuting steed. And a couple months ago, I put on some new solid airless tires that I got from Tannis that I was doing a review for. And you'll see I went with the bright red model. So today we're gonna be doing a quick follow-up, seeing how these are holding up. I've gotten a lot of questions on the channel on how these tires are performing in the long run. And so I've had these on since about March. It's been over three, four months. I think I've got about 2000 kilometers in total. I haven't been riding outside that much a lot. I've been doing a lot of Zwift riding, especially now since we're in the rainy season, but you can see it. Let's take a quick look at the tread. I would say that the tread on here is holding up pretty well. I haven't had any problems with these. I haven't really noticed any large holes or anything. I've been pretty good about avoiding um, metal objects on the road and things that you normally would avoid if you're riding uh, normal air tires. And you'll see that it is getting a little bit darker on the center line of the tread. It's not quite as bright as it is on the side of the tire as the sidewall here. But overall, I've been really happy with how these have been holding up. And I've got the same tires back here on the rear size. I've also been getting a lot of questions on the size and what I went with. So here we go. I have a 725C. I wanted to go with the 28s, but it really depends on the width of the rim that you have, what sizes will be able to fit that. And I think they have some more models coming out lately. Anyway, I've had a pretty solid experience with these tires so far. There's definitely noticeably some more wear here on the rear tire and you'll see I've got also, this is probably some bird poop here and some random other junk in here. I've been riding these everywhere on regular pavement on some dirt roads and stuff like that. And so far I haven't really had any problems. I've mentioned this before on some of my earlier reviews of these tires and that is, it definitely is a bit of a bumpier experience, especially on different paths. Like right now we're on this kind of bumpy little rocky kind of road and you definitely feel a lot rougher of an experience riding on these kinds of paths compared to like a regular air tire setup. But on the smoother roads, I really don't notice that big of a difference. Anyway, I'm gonna continue this conversation out on the road. I'm out here with my wife today doing some nice cycling. So say hello to Tuan Chan. Hi everyone. So we're gonna go on, continue with our ride and let's go. Let's go, go. <laughs> so chida yo. Uh. Okay. Let's go, let's go. Nani <laughs> studio. They always have some really funny signs here in Japan. Always pick up after your dog poop. So here we are continuing on the road. <laughs> Let's go. And we're cycling here, sort of on the outskirts of the city here in Japan. And just to show you guys that these tires can pretty much ride through everything. So here's a little bit of a rougher path. And one of the reasons I got these tires in the first place was because I was a daily bike commuter. I was riding my bike to work 40 kilometers every day. I didn't really get flats that often, but the days I did get flats, it was just such a bad experience and something I really didn't want to deal with if I didn't have to help it after a long day of work or on the way to work in the morning. I really don't want to have to deal with the flat. It's the last thing I want to deal with. So I really wanted a solution that would so I really wanted a solution that would allow me to never really have to worry about flats ever again. And of course you can go tubeless, but the airless solution, the solid tires, just seem to be 100% flat proof because it's literally impossible to flat on these things. So that's when I started looking into them and I've been really happy with these things so far. When I first was installing them, I actually struggled a little bit getting these on, but the second one definitely went on a little bit easier than the first one. And I was a little bit nervous riding these my first few rides. Honestly, I was worried. Uh, what if it falls off? What if I didn't install it properly? But I think now I can safely say after a couple months of riding a couple thousand kilometers of riding on all different surfaces in the mountains and everything that I feel pretty comfortable with these and they've done the job. They've done what they were intended to do. I haven't had any flats, any problems, and they've been a really good experience so far. One thing I'm not looking forward to and I'm still sort of worried about is broken spokes because these obviously do add a little bit more pressure to the wheel when you're riding, especially if you're a heavier rider. Um, so hopefully I don't have a problem with that. I think the wheels that I got on here, they're brand new wheels. So when I put the tires on here, it was the first time I ever used this wheel set. So I hope that means they're a little bit more durable. They'll be a little bit stronger and I won't have to deal with that issue because if you get a broken spoke with these things, you're not going to be able to really take the tire off to fix it if you need to. And that's my biggest concern, honestly, moving forward. 
The other thing I'm not looking forward to is having to uninstall these. I've had some people comment on some of the earlier videos saying that the uninstallation process is pretty, a pretty painful process. So I'm not looking forward to that, but supposedly you should get quite a few thousand kilometers out of riding on these tires. I think they're guaranteed up to like 5,000 or 6,000 or so, but I'm pretty sure you can definitely get some more, maybe even up to 10,000 or so. Let's go, uh, let's go this way. I don't normally ride over this way actually, so, but I figured I'll show you guys some other stuff while I'm over here. And in case you're interested in cycling in Japan, seeing some more ride videos in Japan, be sure to subscribe. We make videos like this every week, cycling here in Japan, showing off the beautiful roads here, the beautiful places for riding. So we're gonna wait to cross here. So we're right on the outskirts of the city here on Eastern Nagoya, Japan. And it's really nice in this area because things are a lot more spread out than the other areas. And over here is actually a little bit, actually there's a couple different things over here. There's a, an onsen, onsen to ato nani ga aru? Super, super, uh-huh. Ah, okay. So there's a, an old person's home sort of over here, a center for the elderly, a center for the elderly population to come over here and sort of have different activities. So Tunchan was actually a volunteer over there before we got married and she used to come over this way quite often but i've actually never been to the onsen over here mm. Ikura. Uh, so about five dollars to get inside and during this little ride part of the review i just wanted to show you guys how it feels to ride on these in different parts of the road so different roads different forms of asphalt more nice roads so right now we're on a really smooth road and honestly these tires just feel super comfortable right now on this kind of surface. So as we ride back into the city, we'll be experiencing some different surfaces. Speaking of tires. <laughs> ah. go, 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 go. <laughs> so this is the sign for the city that we live in. Nagakte city, Nagakte shi. Right on the east side of Nagoya. So we got some more bumps over here. And normally when you're cycling on the different side paths or routes like this, you always have to go over a variety of different surfaces. But I've not really had any problems with these. Yeah, it's not as smooth as it'd be on an air tire if you're running lower pressure, but it's nothing that's like a deal breaker or anything. I'd much rather have the guarantee of never getting a flat. I don't mind the slight extra discomfort. And that might be even better if you get some of the thicker tire options, I'm not sure. I was curious how the 28s or even 32s would be. So if anyone has any experience with those, let us know down in the comments. Left or right? Oh, left. So we're gonna pass by another little side road here. I love these back roads here in Japan. You always get some cool sights, especially along the river. <laughs> There's some kids catching some fish in the river right now. But you always got to be careful on these side roads as well because they're super narrow and often cars will be going both ways. The green lane is technically the commute lane, but obviously that's way too dangerous to be cycling on it. It's more for like walkers. There's some schools over in this area, a preschool. Hmm? Oh, what?
So a couple of little old school shops over here. Very old school community. You don't see too many places like this in the more city areas. And we've got a more traditional style temple over here, or shrine. Which is strangely right next to a, um, what is this, Hoikuen or Yochien. So Hoikuen is uh, before or Yochien. Yochien is kindergarten and Hoikuen is before that, what is that, preschool? But I think either of those jobs, the hoikuen or yochien, the preschool or kindergarten teacher jobs here in Japan are some of the strictest, most tough jobs in all of Japan, I would say. And the pressure that is put on those teachers and the salary they're paid is just unreal. Masugu, migi. So we're gonna keep going straight here. We finally got some nice sunny weather. It's been raining nonstop for the last two weeks. So we came out today to enjoy this ride. And like I said, I haven't been riding outside too much, honestly, but I have ridden in the rain a couple times with these tires and they are a bit slipperier, a bit more slippery than riding with regular aired tires. But again, nothing that's really a deal breaker. It's something you just got to adapt to. And if you're riding safely enough, it's, it's usually not a problem. You just got to be careful on the more slippery surfaces like certain paint and certain tiles and stuff like that. So it feels really good to be back outside again. And we're back on a nice smooth road right now, so tires just feel really good. On my wife's bike, by the way, she's rocking Gator Skins. Those are my usually other go-to commuting tires and I never got any flats on those. When I did get flats on my other commuting bike. It was when I was testing out some other tires. I was testing out some of the Duranos and then those things flatted so easily. They were horrible. But the Gator skins are pretty good. I've never had a flat on them. So if I weren't on these solid tires right now, I would be on these. So we're back towards a more main road here. And you'll see the green commuting lane is just really weird. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. And sometimes it's really small, sometimes it's a little wider, and they don't really have protection from the cars or anything. But it is what it is. They make do with the space that they have here. Got some nice other modern houses here as well. Oh, Keiki, huh? <laughs> We're passing by one of Tuanchon's favorite cake shops. Actually, we're pretty hungry. Let's get some cake. Cakey. Kauka. <laughs> so here we go. A traditional Japanese sweets shop. They got a lot of popular snacks, Japanese snacks. So let's find a place to park our bike. Uh, I think we'll just lean our bikes here. That should be good. Let's get some snacks. Hmm? So what should we get? Mm. So Tun Chan, when she comes here, she always gets the matcha roll cake. My favorite. Hmm. Oh, what's Ah, this one is okay. Yes. Today is Thank you. 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 
しみ。<笑>美味しい一番好きな味。Uh, so let's continue on with our ride. I might as well keep And when you go through these big intersections here, there's always a bump.、It's、sort of the unfortunate thing of the way the roads here are built with the sidewalks. But even with these kind of bricks here, it's not too bad. Perfectly comfortable. Bumps, bumps, bumps. So these bumps, you'll definitely feel these. But fortunately, there aren't too many of them. Are we going to be able to cross here? Yep. There's a gas station, by the way. Japanese corner gas station. Most of the gas stations here, they. They're not self serve, so they'll do it for you. We're gonna hop back on the main road here just because there's a bit of foot traffic, and this is more smooth, so way more comfortable over here. Kids got those squeaky shoes. <laughs> It's gonna get a bit more busy over here as we enter back towards one of the main roads. Lots of grocery stores here. So, lots of hungry mamas <laughs> rushing to get some groceries for their families. This is a manga cafe, by the way. So here we are on our last stretch of the way home, back on the commuting pass on the main road here, on the green road, the Higashiyama Road. This road paralleling us is the Linimo, the Maglev magnetic train. Another bump here. There's the train. So, yeah, overall, these tires have been holding up pretty solid for the last few months. I've been really happy with them. Not a single disappointing point so far. And I hope this has been helpful, giving you guys some insight into how the tires perform and how they hold up over time. All right, guys, we're just about finished with our ride. So we're going to finish up this video here. I hope this has been helpful, hearing my feedback on riding these tires for the last few months. And yeah, so far, I'd say if you're on the edge and you're not sure whether you should go for it or not, I would say my experience so far has been pretty positive. And if you're looking for a solid solution where you're never gonna have to worry about flats, I would say go for it. So, anyway, if you're interested in seeing more videos about cycling life here in Japan, be sure to like the video, subscribe, watch out for cars, and we'll see you next time here on Dual Cruise.